here I am squinting in the bright sun and what was started as a 40 degree day where I had my hoodie on and was just trying to stay warm has become a day where I'm playing with solar panels because it's so ideal when it's 45 degrees outside and you have full sun coming in because you can almost get that standard test condition power out of your solar panels. I digress though because something that I noticed today was a question I had in my mind for a long time about when you have the option of what voltage to run into your solar charge controller, such as an MPPT solar charge controller that has a range, do you run in parallel or do you run in series? And the common belief is that parallel, lower voltage, but still within the range of voltage that you need according to the charge controller manual is better because it would get you more power and the data I have today is interesting. So just to start off, I wanna show you what I've got here is two 60 cell Canadian solar panels. These are rated at 255 watts a piece and they're probably about a decade old. I have them running in parallel. So I've got some branch connectors here running up to the solar panels back. And this is, you know, probably gonna be about 37 volts open circuit, about 16 amps on a 10 gauge wire, so plenty. Into the solar charge controller, plenty, when I say plenty, it's plenty big enough as a 10 gauge wire. Um, into the solar charge controller, out of the solar charge controller, into my battery. It's going through the shunt on the negative side, as it should. And this is the piece that I was really playing with today, it was a Victron Smart shunt that I purchased, so that I can see how much power is coming into the battery from a third party device, as opposed to relying on this monitor for the solar charge controller itself because the power here on this solar charge controller and any solar charge controller I've seen is measuring how much power is coming into the solar charge controller from the panels, not from the solar charge controller into the battery, which means it's going to be inflated because it doesn't include the inefficiencies within the solar charge controller, which are typically 10% or more. So I have my Victron Smart Shunt app here and we can see that we're pulling in 408 watts from these panels and i realize there's nothing groundbreaking here yet so these are generating just over 200 watts a piece it's about five o'clock in the afternoon right now so that sun's starting to wane and i got to get this done quick before it goes below the tree line over there but bear with me what i want to do here is move this from being in parallel to being in series and then we're going to look at this data again from the smart shot now what I've done here is remove my branch connectors, which means I have my wire from my solar charge controller going up to the panel and then from one panel woo, into the other panel and then back down to here. What does that mean realistically is that this wire here, this pair of wires now has about 75 volts open circuit on it instead of 37 volts and half the current. So I only am pushing, you know, eight amps max across this wire, which is still 10 gauge wire, but that means that that wire is way big for what it needs to be. But let's come back over here to our Victron Smart Shunt. Now that we're in series, we can see that we're generating 411 watts of power. Now, if I had actually come over here and started videoing this first, then it would have been a bigger difference, but it was up at about 416 before I went over there and started explaining series versus parallel. And now we're down below what it was in uh, parallel versus series. But the, 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 the data is, and it looks like my battery's full, but the data is that for whatever reason, this solar charge controller actually works better charging a 14 volt battery, a 12 volt battery, it's at 14 volts right now. It works better at charging a 12 volt battery when the these panels are in series than when they're in parallel. And, and that baffles my mind because I don't understand how you could be more efficient taking the higher voltage down to 12 volts than it would be to take the lower voltage to 12 volts maybe on the the input side of that solar charge controller um you know there's some some resistance and the, the amount of current coming through because we are you know having the current in order to do this at the higher voltage i, I don't know have you seen this to be the case it's interesting and it, it it triggers other questions in my mind first of all other charge controllers um i'm very curious now to kind of measure the efficiency curve of charge controllers the ones that i play with wouldn't typically publish something like that now if we bring this up in the ep ever manual itself we can see that the max number of panels in series when using a 60 cell panel which is exactly what i'm using here is two 
max is 2, best is 1, which would indicate that we should be in parallel, that parallel would be best. That's what the manual says. And yet, series works better. And as things typically go, um, answered a question, and now I've got three more.